<laughs> okay, so the first thing I think we should mention is the ray tracing. Yeah, that's the next gen feature. <laughs> yes, so uh, for the PC we have the ray trace global Im illumination. So uh, that looks, the visual fidelity is amazing. Okay. It replaced the old PC that uh, we had. We also have the uh, ambient occlusion, uh, the ray tracing and occlusion uh, again. I feel like the, he's got way more, uh, have, uh, other way stuff. better uh, hair. Uh, we have, uh, of course, we integrated the FSR2 and we have the DLSS. Uh, we have also dynamic resolution scaling. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have also a very nice this is for PC. SSR, uh, screen space reflection. Because before it was only for the water, yeah. but now it's for everything. Uh, so I hope that uh, it will. Oh, shiny looks awesome. armor icon. I can feel yes. that. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, okay, so ray tracing. The game will look even better right now with you know all those options but i think we also have one more for pc enthusiasts like me yeah so we also like try to push uh, even further so we have also new uh, ultra plus uh, settings that you can uh, play with uh, that include like for example the background characters uh, grass density level of details all those settings we had uh, it's not a preset but you can tinker around, play, and see uh, if it's uh, you know if it's, what works if it's for good you. for your machine, yeah. mm -hmm. and, and you know have fun. <laughs> I'm pretty sure everyone in <laughs> here and you know on the other side of the screen definitely. I mean, works. provided you have good enough PC. <laughs> we're all gonna try. It. Yeah, we're, we're gonna, gonna try <laughs> our best, right? Um, okay, let's so see the you point. know the game looks amazing we have super cool right, you it. know retracing options we have the ultra plus settings and all that combined in photo mode oh, yes so now you can showcase the beauty of the witcher 3 in the photo mode and we know that you already were taking amazing screenshots from That's the witcher nice, 3 yeah. but we wanted to give you a little help so we implemented a photo mode uh, into the game you have some options to you know stop Geralt, okay. stop the scene and play a little bit with the settings, maybe sure. give it a little bit of different mood, change the angle, something like that. So, yeah, I, thi I think you're going to be able to create some really amazing shots and really can't wait to see wh what you do because we know from Cyberpunk that you guys are like breathtaking <laughs> with that. <laughs> Uh, and with The Witcher, I think you can also create something amazing. Oh, I get it, because so of Keanu Reeves. For yeah, yeah. Seriously, internet. Okay, yeah, 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 true. That's a good one. Twitter, Witcher, everyone, good one. literally. Yes. <laughs> and I think, I think we have to maybe do that. Uh -huh. You know, a photo, photo mode contest. <laughs> oh yes, another occasion. <laughs> for sure, we do love our photo, photo mode contest. So keep your eyes open for for something <laughs> on The Witcher. Okay, so I mean that's nice, but I feel mode, like you'll just Photoshop, awesome stuff. Photoshop but we also this stuff have anyway. Really cool cameras added in this patch. Like I have my favorite one. I'm not gonna spoil <laughs> it yet, <laughs> but I think we already saw saw the spoiler yeah. in the gameplay. <laughs> yeah, we did a little bit, yeah. but yeah. So actually, it wasn't a planned feature initially. It was more of an experiment. Uh, so you know, how would the game look like if we had the camera a little bit closer, a little bit to the side? Uh, and it honestly worked so well, like, you know, we showed it to many of our veteran gameplay designers mm -hmm. to play around with it, that we decided to make it a full feature. Uh, so you can choose to have a new alternative camera mode uh, that is much closer to Geralt. Uh, we, of course, know that, you know, people want to have their control. So, uh, you know, it works uh, when you're explore exploring, it works in combat or when you're riding on road. But for all of these states, you can actually also choose to have the old camera. So you can combine when I'm exploring, I want to be really close to Geralt, but when I'm on Roach, I actually want to be far away. Uh, so essentially you can mix and match. I mean, I uh, guess that's nice. When I personally nice. play the game now, I, mean, it's I like choose it's the a photo, alternative new photo mode. It's not a big time. deal, I feel uh, like. You know, I played The Witcher Wild and many times. <laughs> so for me, it's actually new to play it like this because yeah, it makes yeah. it feel like Fresh. a bit of a different game. Yeah. yeah, I remember the first time we were walking in Novigrad with it, we were like, this is great. Like, <laughs> holy yeah. hell. We want that. <laughs> yeah, you know, the angles, how yeah. you can walk through the crowd. It, it, it feels a bit uh, different. I like it. Yeah, for me, my favorite is like the horse camera that, you know, you can see the friendship between Geralt <laughs> and Roach. Uh -huh. It's like the, you know, dynamic duo. So like that's going to be my choice for mm -hmm. sure. But yeah, the, the camera looks pretty, pretty cool. And I think a lot of people will actually, I, I actually like it and enjoy playing it. Okay, um, so you got okay, camera. So that's nice. PC parts. 
right now maybe let's oh. jump to the next gen okay stuff. moving to console yes okay, okay so you know it's not it. a next gen, next gen update I if we see don't the have two modes so performance and quality mode for uh, for consoles and yeah like if 60 there's better and 30 graphics FPS for series s uh, did we add 60 fps wow those modes maybe? wow this is console uh, yeah, players the, never well, get this right series x and, and ps5 yeah you guys uh, will like, see you know, it's crazy whenever you go to 60 fps yeah that's the next gen for consoles man it's a console uh, the console dream. We also have the FSR2 integrated uh, as wow. for Cyberpunk. Uh, so this is ready to go. And of, of course, dynamic resolution scaling uh, to be sure that we get the smooth ride uh, 60 FPS and, and 30 FPS. Mm -hmm. Well, and additionally, uh, if you play on your PlayStation 5 or the Xbox Series X and S, uh, a lot of those other improvements we made, so you know, the general quality settings, higher textures, mm -hmm. level of detail, sure. all of that, of course, is also much higher than it used oh, to yeah. be on the old gen consoles. Mm -hmm. So this will also be uh, looking nicer, no matter if you have quality or performance. Yeah, I think it, it's much closer to the ultra that than, mm -hmm. uh, you know, before it on console was way lower, so, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. Nice, nice. So it's gonna look great. I Both mean, on PCs, console, I mean, true. Uh, but also there's something specific for PS5 players. You know, this really nice controller that they have. <laughs> so we added haptic feedback and... Uh, Where's my PS5 adaptive controller? Adaptive triggers, yes. I don't know exactly. where it is. Um, do we have anything specific connected to adaptive triggers, maybe? Well, I mean, you know, I think the thing you notice the most is, of course, in combat. So, you know, when you do your signs, when the sword hits uh, the enemy or hits another sword, you can actually now feel uh, the impact. Because, you know, it's done with the sound waves mm -hmm. of the actual mm -hmm. sound. So you do have a bit of more of a visceral feeling when you actually use this controller. Uh, so I personally like that one a lot. Uh, it's, a nice, it's a nice addition that makes the combat feel a bit uh, nicer. One thing I noticed on the gameplay that we are showing on the screen is that the quick cast. That's another feature that I want to to talk about <laughs> with you guys. What's yeah, that? So again, similar as the camera, <laughs> this was an experimental feature. So as you can tell, lots of the veteran developers or new developers working on this project, they just also wanted to do those cool things. And it's one of those elements that uh, personal shout out to Ero Varendi, one of our designers. He actually worked on this personally uh, as his hobby and then essentially asked, can I try to make a proper version of this in the game? And it essentially means that when you were using signs in the vanilla game, you always went to the radial menu where the time slowed down. You choose your sign and then you cast, cast it. it. Yeah. And now both on controller and on keyboard, uh, essentially you do not ever have to go to that ra radial menu again if you activate that mode. So instead of the, you know, pressing, let's say, on the controller R2 to cast, you now hold it and then all the face buttons or L2 uh, become your signs. So A is R. L2 is Igni, oh. so essentially you can just jump around doing your different yeah. It's like a shift modifier. However you want without having That's to smart. pause uh, the yeah. game. Uh, so it's a bit more of an advanced feature because now you have to use two buttons instead of one, uh, essentially. Uh, so it is, of course, as with the camera, it's a choice that you can activate. Uh, and of course, there's also a tutorial for how to use it. Uh, but personally, as someone who played the game a lot, mm -hmm. uh, especially if you have a sign build, mm -hmm. I would never want to go back again. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. So we are making uh, sign builds um, pretty much a, a default, kind of? <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, not, not a default, <laughs> but I would say more direct, less... Yeah, uh, I, fe I feel like that's just a, a, just a, not a universal to good thing. It's not annoying to go thing. back to the menu. So now yeah. I can just feel smoothly I'm in combat and I never have to go out of it. Camera's a little so close. I would say it's more fun. I think you can zoom way. out. I can I can definitely see myself yeah, messing up with all, all the <laughs> oh, with all the buttons. It's like but, wrong yeah. combo, wrong sign. <laughs> <laughs> but it's fine. But it's I, gonna work. I'm pretty sure you know I'll, I'll get my head around it. So worry not. We'll, we'll see how that works. Okay, we have the quick signs. We have all the you know additional gameplay features and and you know that we will be talking about. But this okay. is something I wanna I wanna mention because we've seen that also on the on the gameplay. It's the it's the default map. Like I've seen a lot of cool filters right there. So yeah, maybe this is something for Philip definitely. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's personal. So so, so we saw a new filter. Uh, so you know I can speak from my personal experience. I was one of they the need people to add this for Elden Ring guys. And Skellige. And uh, you put you know, like marks on the map where all the caves are is is and all the vendors are. It while exploring the world. Yeah, they it's put nice. this in the Elden Ring. Cool thing. I can go on, uh, but it's not meant necessarily as a checklist. 
oh, you should do all of those 50 things. And the way the map presented it with, you know, all the question marks, I think for some players made it feel good, like right? they have to do all of those things. And of course, the map looked very filled with lots of icons. Mm -hmm. uh, so we added this new filter that essentially hides those question marks from your map and also hides uh, the boat icons from your map, which means the map is much cleaner now uh, and you can play the game, you know, essentially finding those things naturally, not feeling forced to do all of them. But of course, you know, we also know that there are, there are players who like this. There are players who want to get all the content, who want to make sure that they found everything there is to find. Uh, so this is only a map filter default. You can also switch over to the filter all, and then you have all of those icons there. So you know it's not that we're getting rid of it. It's very it's impressive much how good this if game you still looks. To find these things organically. I think this mode is for you. I mean, it came out I years really ago. It still looks really great. All of the great. features that we are talking about, we give a player a choice. Yeah. So Always. so yes, yeah, this is amazing. They can actually, if if you liked what was already there, feel free to mm -hmm. keep it. If you want to try something new. Try it. Yeah, and that's actually that's that's very much the optional. idea behind this whole Blizzard uh, take notes. edition, which is if you really love The Witcher and you know the game, this shouldn't now feel like a different game. This yes. should be the game that you love, it's still the same that you amazing like to experience, play. Yes. Exactly. And you know, even with the uh, ray tracing, it looks like the game in your dreams that you know that you remember how it looked like. And when you compare it, the difference is really staggering. But you know the art style didn't suddenly change. Yeah, I had that reality yeah, check when I went back to and what it should be. Looked at Ocarina of Time. Features. You can play the game you want to play, but you Man. can also experiment with some new features. Oh, looked way. way better when I was young. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So I guess we go to Skellige and yeah, and just look for all the look on <laughs> map and see like where is the map? Okay, um, okay. You guys mentioned that you know games from the dream and you know it looks amazing. I, I keep uh -huh. saying that because I'm amazed how good it looks. So, you know, I know we added some extra uh, adjustments, right? To mm -hmm. environment, to like, you know, characters and whatnot. Can we maybe mention some of them? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have a lot actually. Uh, I think we have uh, a new, uh, all the grass has been improved. Uh, almost all the foliage asset has been uh, reworked. We also have uh, a lot of environment um, uh, mesh change, so higher resolution, better textures almost for everything. Uh, and I think that uh, we also integrated quite a lot of mods mm -hmm. uh, and also on console this time around, not just on, on PC. So shout out also I think for the HD uh, reworked uh, that we integrated yeah. uh, and also all the monsters, everything has to be have, to, have been improved. We also increased the budget for the streaming, uh, so of course that means that the, the, the texture will be uh, of course uh, higher resolution uh, everywhere. Mm -hmm. And yeah, there were, there were many of these little projects where you know, old Witcher veterans that had plans to do something, they now had a chance to, you know, <laughs> oh, I'll quickly install the engine for, you know, two weeks and I'll make some tweaks. So, you know, even small things that, you know, by themselves don't feel like yes, a lot, but yes. when all of them come together, it's really nice. So, you know, now you see uh, smoke come up from villages. Yeah, far graphic in the updates distance. are really the important. The cobblestones in Novigrad like are not normal maps anymore. They're actually, uh, you know, 3D, uh, so you know all of these things or, just come Vista together. missing the village, now the village, the, the, the village is there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but this is this yeah. is awesome. We also got updates. I'm surprised from the they're doing like, this oh, much for the grass, game. Grass, check it out. Like, because it's wow, been out it's for years, you know. And new clouds. That's wow, crazy. They actually, yeah. you know, if if you look at them side by side, the difference is amazing. Even with like this one small change. Yeah, but and this is again, the weather, the clouds, the sky. It's supposed to look like you remember. But a lot of those assets were upgraded or, you know, just similar with the camera, added a bit more variety. So as an example, you might have new weather conditions that weren't there before. I mean, like, it all sounds like you guys were super busy and I know you were like even busier than, than that. And but I guess everyone was so happy to jump back to The Witcher, right? To, yeah. to actually give that extra push for w one of the best games I've ever played in my mm -hmm. life. Honestly. Yeah, I, th I think the whole team was actually quite happy when we discussed about, okay, guys, we need to jump to The Witcher. Yep, let's, let's do it. <laughs> let's go back. No worries. Yeah, yeah I wonder know, why. Shout out to a production team for letting. Yeah, us guys, I, I wonder why that is. Some of those fixes were also done kind of illegally by people. You know, yeah. people assigned to work on Cyberpunk. You know, maybe like sneak in one hour. Oh, I'm gonna help you with that cool thing. Oh. So you know, usually people were very happy to. So just they're they're dissing their own cool game. Thing. I love this. Yeah. This is amazing. Coming back to our like legacy. <laughs> Yeah. Coming back home. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, okay, so we, we covered some of the gameplay features. Obviously, there will be more 
um, minor tweaks, some fixes and whatnot. Uh, we'll definitely get back to it later. Mm -hmm. uh, but you know, we we also hear our community, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, guys, like forums, Reddit, so Twitter, you're gonna Facebook, make Witcher Instagram, four. We, we read all of that. And it's not only about us as a community yeah. team. I'm sure you guys in the dev also go there and check out what, what our community is requesting, what yeah, they're, they're talking about. Yeah, they're going to make it. They're making it. Yeah, they so we read be. that and we actually put some of those stuff uh, to life. So, for example, in this update, we are giving you some additional modes for Geralt to walk. So <laughs> on a controller. So if you push the stick very lightly, he's gonna walk slowly. And if you tap it, he's gonna sprint. <laughs> so the that makes sense. Boss walk, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like it. Like yeah, he'll, nice. he'll be like, I'm the, the king now here. Yeah, it's a yeah, yeah. there's a walking <laughs> update, also, guys. It's actually also an option again, where uh, in the vanilla game, you press your A button on the controller to sprint. Uh, but also actually lots of other games, uh, people prefer that, you yes. know, the, yeah, on the stick. Uh, on the stick. Uh, and this is also something that we don't change by default, uh, but if you want it, you can activate it for yourself. That's, that's, that's really cool. <laughs> yeah, so other requests, also also something that you probably already saw in the gameplay that we were showing you. Okay. You can now scale subtitles. So oh, yeah. if you don't see that well, <laughs> or if you, if you want to have an easier experience with the game, you can now make them bigger, make them smaller, that's, whichever you like. Yeah, it sounds like uh, that, that's something good. That I think is going to be useful for all of us. Okay, Yeah, I great. think in my times of, you know, 2015 being tech support representative, we've got a lot of requests mm. for scale subtitles, so I'm pretty sure people will will be happy if i ever stream this, this game again one of the requests but I'll the probably other, do that the so people thing can read it on i'm pretty mobile. sure we want to cover that oh yeah yeah is the two quest yeah fixes. i actually might use two that it's two specific quest fixes <laughs> yeah you guys probably probably know this quest because you know comments about that pop up even even now like please fix that oh, yeah. <laughs> and we are we are fixing that we are fixing from off your shore i bet a lot of these uh, things where things the, are adding the witcher wolf, 4 uh, and they're just retroactively fun. adding them so, to witcher 3 too yeah and we, we tried to do the the tricky way of also think. if you played the game previously and it actually is broken on your save when you install the patch, it should actually now Let's also go back work retroactively. Yeah, it seems like uh, probably what's happening. And actually, those are the two famous ones. <laughs> yes. Yeah. But there are actually quite a bunch more <laughs> yeah, 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 uh, yeah, that we actually also <laughs> fixed. So, you know, there's a certain Smith who sometimes didn't like to talk to you. That one should work yeah. now. Yeah. And, you know, lots of just small issues. Like, we actually did another Bug QA fixes. pass of the game. Mm. Stutters in cutscenes. Uh, small stuff that we just try to add more polish. Speaking of cutscenes. Mm -hmm. You mentioned something like yes. behind the scenes. <laughs> yeah, before we started. Yeah, it's a, it's a nice quality of life uh, improvement. So, you know, our code team actually did a fix because, you know, it actually isn't that easy to pull mm -hmm. it off. There's a reason why it was like that in the vanilla game. That now, during scenes and cutscenes, you can pause the game. Uh, some people might not even remember that that wasn't possible. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but uh, that actually is Sorry possible about that. now. Yeah, so you know, if, if you have someone at the door or you need to go to the toilet while a scene is playing, you can pause it now. It's, it's nice quality smart. of yeah. improvement. So we won't have like, uh, Mom, no, I can't pause it. <laughs> well, Not if anymore. you use it as an excuse, you can still do it. Okay. Yeah, this was Final Fantasy, like each um, dialogue okay, box you have so to click, so I didn't need to do that. Fixes it was like an effective like pause. Two most famous or maybe <laughs> famous more, more, more also. Um, but we also adding... Uh, and new subtitles? Yes, I mean, it's not only subtitles, it's the entire voiceover for the game. So actual dubbing, uh, we are adding Chinese uh, simplified. So now the game will be fully voiced in Chinese and a lot of players that, that can enjoy, enjoy the game in their native language. So I hope you guys like it. Uh, but besides that, there are also some improvements to other languages. So hopefully the, the experience will be better in those as well. Mm -hmm. Can it even get any better? Ooh. I mean, I mean, we 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 have some some more stuff. I think like some minimap. Uh, that's something I okay. heard that there were some cool feature about minimap. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, so you know, it's again a smaller feature. So you know, I don't want to oversell all of these things. <laughs> so it's for like it's world nice building. quality of life stuff. So in the main game, you could have your minimap, your quest objectives always showing, or you could turn those off. Mm. But then they that's were nice. off. Uh, <laughs> exactly until you turn them on again <laughs> in the main menu. Uh, but essentially, we try to make a hybrid mode of this. So when you're just exploring, mm -hmm. walking around, those things will be invisible. Uh, but of course, you can, if you want to 
check the minimap to know you're going in the right direction, you can just press your focus mode button and then it will show for you know a long like seven seconds or so. Uh, so you have time to orient yourself until it nicely disappears again. Uh, but if you keep wanting to just have it there for a long time, you can just hold a button. Uh, so you know also or if you're in combat, the minimap and your objective they do then also just Stay dynamically uh, show up uh, so you know you have all of your information. Uh, so we just try to give you more choice with okay. this. Hopefully, I won't. It just seems like an improvement Hopefully. on the game. But that's you can good. Still keep, yeah. you, can, you still have the that's choice. Great. You can still keep the minimum. That's, yeah, that's I, uh, all about I this think update. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try yeah. to hide to actually get the full mm -hmm. exploration mode. Yeah, to know, not have like UI. Uh, in my I think the, the less UI, the better um, but yeah, in general. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, same. <laughs> I mean, it's forest, rivers, it's all beautiful. So the less Night City City I think more. Night City is easier because like the streets and here I, I just get lost in the forest. <laughs> but you know, it's even if you get lost, right, you're surrounded by all this beauty. Yeah. You, you know, you just look and you know, you can hear the mm -hmm. trees, you can hear the wind. Uh, you can even, you know, hear those small kids singing something in there. Creepy song right? about the Master Mirror. <laughs> For example. <laughs> but it, it just you're not feeling even mad for being lost, so you know yeah. that's 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 super really really cool. Um, okay, so mm -hmm. you know we we've been talking for a, for a while now. Uh, we mentioned some major stuff that are coming to to the patch, but we also I think some minor tweaks, improvements here and there. So it won't be just what we're talking here, right? Mm -hmm. And you know, as a reminder update will be free and it's also mm -hmm. an upgrade right from playstation 4 to playstation 5 5 4 from xbox uh to series that X seems and good and that's, yeah right that's so, all that's good you know it's 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 gonna be a lot okay. yeah I mean, I mean we're gonna have patch notes um before hopefully december 14th so you can you can check out all the changes but i'm pretty sure that we won't be able to fit all of them there's into a lot that. of surprise also in yeah, yeah. yeah. I, mean, I mean we like surprises oh, <laughs> probably yeah. know that so so we keep some stuff hidden for for you to discover wh while you're playing the game exactly the patch note various little improvements yeah. and surprises <laughs> that's i think that's the best patch note. <laughs> i think one surprise that we can just slightly show Maybe it's the, uh, the one that something we that, we, that we announced already during the Witcher Con, so yes. the Netflix DLC quest. Um, we will be showing. Uh, Netflix okay, DLC actually showing quest. right now the very very beginning of the quest, but we are not gonna dive in. Yes, it's it's very important. We don't want to spoil anything because mm -hmm. the thing is, you know, I also don't want to oversell it. We just thought that if we're offering those new. Uh, you know, armors, That's swords, cool. Items. Yeah, so there's actually uh, new content in the game. We just want to make it feel a bit more part of the game. Yeah. And of course, if it's a cool armor, you know, as with other armors in the game, there should be some quest or content connected to it. So we tried to... Yeah, I was to, confused. I, you know, I didn't... Make a yeah, quest I was that actual new stuff. Of the game, so and it we feels chose a very cool nice. place for that, for that yes. quest. <laughs> yeah, so if, if you're a big Witcher fan, you know, that place, it's very famous for people wondering, what is going on there? What is... Uh, <laughs> yeah. So something we actually, should be there. <laughs> exactly, and and now something now uh, uh, surprise is there. Yeah, and you know, again, it was a, it was more of an improvised thing where so many Witcher veterans, which is like, hey, can you help us with this? Can you help us with this? And in the end, it came together really nicely. Yeah, but I think I think it was uh, not so improvised afterwards because we even brought our voice actors back to to record some lines for the for the quest, right? Yeah, so we, we, we almost forced the hand of our localization, <laughs> but, you know, oh, maybe, you know, we'll just have 50 lines or maybe, uh, you know, uh, so uh, it worked out really well. And it was really nice well, the, to just the hear the shown for seven year old game. Honest. Yeah, I know. That's you know, nuts, that couple, man. Uh, or, uh, you know, all the other uh, actors. It's, it's cool. Amazing. Okay, so I finished the quest and I get, no, I don't get the armor. I get the, <laughs> the schematic. Yeah, yeah you, you have to put in some work. Yes. <laughs> okay. But so. I think apart from, you know, yes, yes. Geralt season one and season two armor and, and swords, uh, we also have two extra things yes. from, from yes, the Netflix. Yes. So we have uh, Yaskir Dandelion, whichever name we are using <laughs> here. Uh, we have an uh, alternative outfit for him and you can actually just switch it on from the get-go in the menu. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, uh, all right, that's great. And one fun thing that we added uh, is a it's new, new outfit. armor. Uh, if you, if you it's got new drip, yeah. turn it on and go to the Nilfgaard carp, you can, you, can see, you can see what we actually, yeah, well, what, what it looks like. 
Um, okay, so I think we covered most of the things that we wanted to talk about today. Okay. We left only one thing that people already know from okay. Cyberpunk. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the feature. If you, if you play this? Cyberpunk, you know it. Uh, the cross saves. Yeah, cross progression. <laughs> yeah. Cross progression. So if you uh, log into your GOG account on your PC, PS5, Xbox, etc., etc., you can easily just move uh, your saves from one platform to another. That, wow. So you started on PC Damn. a while back. Now you bought PS5. You want to play, play the same the Bro, same. I thought that shit would be like no impossible. Problem. Your saves will sync uh, and you can easily wow. start from where you, f where you finished last yeah. time. That's dope. Uh, yeah, that's okay. really crazy. I think that's, that's it. it for today. I mean, that's not it. Obviously, there was going to be much more in the update, in the patch notes. Uh, we'll, we'll be talking about the update for the next couple of weeks. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Those are like all um, the main but things. But this is it for today's yes, stream. Yes. Um, <laughs> okay. So, yeah, you know, remember, guys, the update is free if you're already on the game. Um, you know, just be ready. December 14th. <laughs> Coming fast. Coming fast, exactly. <laughs> so, um, and I think. Before we leave, we have one tiny, maybe not a tiny, but thing for you to to watch. This is a Witcher um, 4 cinematic. After we're uh, we're off. Yep, yeah. this and is the yeah, Witcher 4 cinematic. We all invite guys. you to play the Witcher Here once we again with whatever Who's settings ready? you want. Tell us what you think about this update. We cannot wait to see the screenshots, all the you know, all your feedback. Um, no way. Maybe there will yeah, be, true. you know, something that you want to also have included. Very maybe true. Maybe we'll do some extra mod <laughs> magic again. Uh, who knows? But yeah, guys, see you offline and online because we have one very small thing prepared for you closer to the release. We're not going to spoil it, but it's going to be super cool. And yeah, see you December 14th. See you guys. Bye-bye, guys. Bye. Bye. So what is this thing? Nilfgaard's crossed the Pontar in the east. Means war's coming. War changes everything. By order of the Hierarch, whosoever conceals a mage in their home shall burn alongside him or her. There's a yeah, I don't know on what one this bank, is. Redania on the other, drooling over the city like dogs over a juicy bone. We are at war. And she's in danger. You will find her and bring her to me. Fire! She's a child of the Elder Blood. Sina. I've got to find Siri. And if you find so her, would, yeah. Will yeah, that's, that's got to be a Charles dance, yeah. world will burn! 100%. In the eternal fire! Why are you helping her? Because she's a danger. A mortal one. A power that can destroy the world. You must find her, Geralt before the Wild Hunt does. I will find her. Or someone knows what happened to her. Who are you? You know who I am. A legend cannot be killed, can it? will be here soon. They're coming for Siri. Hold them back! Yeah. I've long awaited this and you might wolf. Alright, great. That's a cool little cinematic. Yeah, that's alright. That's a whole thing, right? I, 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 I don't know if they have anything else or not. Let me see. No, that's it. Yeah, I think that's nice. I mean, I mean, it's it's crazy. I think it's really nice how they actually came back and they're trying to do updates for the game, even though it's been out for a long time. Uh, I think that's admirable and uh, that's a good thing. 